introduce yourself. Yeah, nice to meet uh, EAC News. Uh, my name is Vesna, Yi Vesna, and I'm uh, the Secretary General for the National Paralympic Committee of Cambodia. And regarding to the 12 ASEAN Paragame, I am the Deputy Secretary General uh, for hosting this game. How do you feel? It's been such a great event. Yeah. Everything put together. Could you expect anything this, better? Such a very nice evening. Uh, everybody is here and we are enjoying it. You see the closing of the 12 ASEAN para game. Uh, we, did, we did a very successful to host the game to, for our 11 country. Everybody enjoyed Phnom Penh and this is a legacy, one of the youth legacy for Cambodia and hopefully starting from now the sport is starting for our friends, uh, people with disability. Okay. Yeah. I, I think uh, the athletes represented Cambodia so well, people are starting to realise it doesn't matter if you have disability, you can do it. Yes, yeah, this under the good leadership from our Prime Minister, who is the President of the National Paralympic Committee. Uh, you can see all of our leaders support it. So this means that uh, we are not alone. People with, dis with disability is not alone. We have a leader, we have a community support it. That's why we decide to host the game of the 12 ASEAN Para game. You can see a, a lot of people coming. In this main stadium, we can put 60,000 people around there and watching, shout, you know, sharing uh, the achievement which they have been did it for seven days ago. Yeah. How do you the, the challenging uh, to show their strong ability and to, you know, this is a message to all over the world, all over the world, to say that we are disability but we have an ability to do the work this is wonderful you know yeah. things and you see through sport they have a lot of solidarity friendship and they united together sometimes they play the sport they fell down they help each other so they make sure their friend happy you know during the competition well you yeah. true ship but the friendships are formed that they help each other and make sure things Yeah, first of all, you know, everybody, my colleagues, athletes with disability, train very hard in their country. They expect a ride of the 12 ASEAN Para game in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, compete for getting the medal, get this medal back home. But finally, compete is one thing, but second is emotional, friendship, family, solidarity and they see the Cambodian smiling you know yeah, exactly. <laughs> they enjoy it you know they go around as as you see they would like to see how our culture as you are aware that 64 years ago Cambodia is war and now no war anymore we have peaceful and uh, the government our leadership our uh, people have been developed it you know and also you can see Cambodia grows very fast at the moment that's why we can host the game. Sea Games 32 and ASEAN Para Game, 12 ASEAN Para Game. And it was done such great success. Both yes. Games, yes. Um, with the, the great leadership of the Prime Minister, like you said, yes. gave free entry for people to see, yeah. to make sure from the hospitality for the, the athletes and the, and the officials for free. Yes. To make sure the free food, free food. Yeah. 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 made it even better. Yeah. It's yeah. from the history yes. that a government yes. has done something like this. Yes. This is a legacy, you know, uh, as uh, we never do this in the world. Yeah. So free accommodation, transportation, food, free ticket, open and closing, and free ticket for the competition, you can go free, you know. And uh, you can see that uh, media, such as you, you did not pay, right? Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy it. <laughs> All, yeah, 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 like yeah, and I, I appreciate it, and thanks to all media have been captured a very nice picture and uh, inform a positive way of our challenging from our people with disability, show the world that people with disability, we can do such a thing, you know, as others. So this is a great... And these games, you won yeah. the most medals ever. Yes, well. yes. Great. Eight, nine yeah. gold and yeah. that's incredible. So I think 70 medals? Or 71, 71, wow. yeah. So totally 71. And I can tell you, 71 is a lovely number for Cambodia. Oh, really? Seven is seven. One is January. Uh, yes. So seven of seven January is our history of the, uh, you know, revolution. Exactly right. So yeah. we have peace from this day. 
So it's lucky number for the first time hosting the 12 Asian Para game. I yes. can see your enthusiastic and your smile. Yes, You're yes. so proud of your athletes yes. and your country and your yes. fellow men. And mm. of course your government have um, put such a great event together. Yes, and yes. I can say congratulations, well done. Uh, uh, thank all the athletes. And, and even the Prime Minister said, it doesn't matter to win the goal. Go out, have fun, and make friends and enjoy. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, very important, you know. Uh, people have to build the spirit, the spirit and motion, you know, to, to live together, harmonization. And especially, you see, the starting from this game, the legacy, the uh, what you call the property remain, stadium venue, you know, uh, attitude of the people, change the mindset. You know, and try to work together in the future. I, I wish our sport, include sea game and para game, will be move very fast, and will be have a lot of potential. Uh, you know, athletes can play in Asia and worldwide. Yeah. And, and, and over the last month, with um, so much tourism, uh, and, and of course, like it just proves to the world that Cambodia is a peaceful place. It, it, it's, it's free. There's no all these lies and everything else. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. I think I think peace build your freedom. So peace give you life. Beside that, peace give you solidarity, and you can see around the country, everywhere you can can go, even midnight or every you know until the morning. So <laughs> we have peace now. People, uh, the tourists enjoy it to visit Cambodia. We have Angkor Wat. We have a lot of garden, we have a nice stadium, we have a mega events, a lot of mega events were set up in Cambodia. People liked it, so please, I welcome you all, you know, to come to Cambodia. Well, there is, there's a lot of projects coming up, so it's yeah. proving now mm. that you can hold such a big event. Yes, of course. No problems yes, no problem. Great success, yes. fireworks, fantastic Of course, yeah. Um, everyone, everyone puts in and no one worries about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I and I tell you, this is the first time for Cambodia, but the first time that Cambodia to prepare as a world standard. You can see the opening and closing. I wish that I because I'm also sport, you know, leader of the sport. I go around, but it, this is the first time in Southeast Asia, and also the standard we make it is from the worldwide standard. Uh, a lot of friends, a lot of my friends have been, you know, uh, share their opinion and their expression. They want to stay longer in Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a, lot That's of, good. a lot of people say yeah, the yeah, same yeah. thing. They, they cannot believe their friendship and everything that yeah. they received and the warm welcome. Yeah. They said they don't want to go home. <laughs> they're not ready to go home. They don't want to experience that, it. So yeah. what's, what's next for you and, and the athletes? Uh, it's good. I think after this, we still have a lot of... Uh, this is last but not least, you know. We still keep continuing. And all the experience, human resource we build it, we will use them to promote the sport for people with disability. Beside that, all venue, all people have been understanding what is a para game. So I think from now on, we all try to work together to achieve something that to help our friend, people with disability. Uh, this is to provide their full of the right to stay, you know, uh, the same as others. Yeah, I, I, I believe that the sport will grow very fast. Yes.